This is example 2-2 two two, where we're going to look at water pressure in a tank or in two tanks actually. Right? We see our two tanks here and we're asked um, what the gauge pressure of the trapped air is, right? basically uh, the pressure at sea. So what we'll do is we'll basically we'll start over here, start at the surface, go down, go through this pipe as we go along do all the, the pressure calculations. So we can start at PB. Right? We know at the top up here we have gauge pressure equal to zero. Right? We can start with that. So we can say PB PB is just going to be 3 meters. That's the depth times gamma water. And we'll leave it as that. We're not going to do all the calculations until the end. Alright, so now if it might B I want to get to A. So if to get to A I have to go upward all the way up to here pressure up uh, all the way up into the pipe right and then along the pipe the pressure is going to be the same and then I'd have to drop all the way back down um, here but in the end all I have to do is don't have to think about all these pathways I, all I have to do is go from B to A right so I need that so I can say that PA is then just going to be PB plus now 0.5 meters, right? That's the depth difference times gamma water. Or 3 meters times gamma water plus 0 0.5 meters times gamma water for a total of 3.5 meters times gamma water. Alright, so now I'm at A. If I want to get to C, right, then I can move along the pipe to the right. The pressure doesn't change as long as the water is not moving. And then I have to go up all the way to C. And I know that is uh, 0.5 meters plus 1.5 meters. Right? 0.5 here, 0.15 over there. So I can say PC is then going to be PA minus 2 meters times gamma water. I know that PA was 3.5 meters times gamma water minus 2 meters times gamma water. So of course 1.5 meters times gamma water. So that is the pressure that I'm going to have there. So if I put the numbers in there Right, I get 1.5 meters times 9,810 newton per cubic meters, and that gives me 14,715 pascals. Right, the meters reduced to square meters, and that is of course 14.7 kilopascals. Now, if we were paying enough attention, right, we could have done all this in just one single step, right? If we think about, we start up here, we start at the surface, right? And basically all we have to do is we have to find what the difference from this surface is to this water level. In the end, that's all, all it is, right? Because there's no pressure losses along the pipe. So all we have to do is what this difference is. In our case, we know that the distance from the, from the top of the, the left tank to the bottom is 3 meters, and then from the bottom up to the point C is 1.5 meters, so it's 1.5 meters, exactly what we got. All right, so this can give us some confidence that we got the right value.